Have you ever met someone and they try to describe a friend of yours, but you know they don't really know them? Do you know what I'm talking about? They're like, oh yeah, like them. Like they're like totally into like. <laughs> Have you ever watched them clown themselves and you're like, that is not even my friend, man. Have you ever seen that where you watch someone really trying to pretend that they know somebody that they don't really know? That's one of those moments where it's like the man with an argument is always at the mercy of a man with an experience. The man with an argument is always at the mercy of a man with an encounter. And the authority we walk in is actually more sure because we know who gave it to us. Does that make sense, you guys? It's not what, it's who. Are you really known by Jesus? Is he enough? There's a lot of language in the kingdom stuff that I hear and I go, you're not even talking about him. They're talking about a concept. And I want to see thousands and thousands and thousands of not just people saved, but leaders transformed. I want to see millions of people love Jesus all over the world. I'm in. I will do it. And in the midst of it, I feel when I get asked, what's your greatest spiritual gift? They're asking me to say apostle, prophet, pastor, teacher, evangelist. And I've already let go of all that because I'm whatever he wants me to be. That's my gift. Why is that my gifting? Because for some reason, the greatest gift he gave me was that I really believe that he loves me. And if I don't do anything, I really believe he likes me. And in the middle of all the work, I'm watching people work and they, they really don't think he likes them. They're not sure. They, they can't rest their head on their pillow. And that's what I'm saying to you guys. It's like, I'm looking at a culture that's got so much of heaven in it that they think heaven is a place and not a person. Eternal life isn't a destination. It's actually knowing somebody. So then I've been phrasing it like this. If I get to heaven and there's no streets of gold and it's just me and him, it's enough for me. Is it enough for you? Does that make sense? If it's just an empty room and there's nothing else there and there's no streets of gold and there's not crowns and there's not levels and there's nothing for me, but him, it's enough for me. Because when I had nothing to give, he still liked me. And no one else did. I guess it's that thing of like, if you, if you just want to try to get people to know somebody you don't know, how, think about it like this. If I, let's just say I'm out in the street and I'm like, hey, you want to hook up with my friend? You should really come hook up with my friend. They're awesome. Super awesome. Come on. And I hook you up with someone I don't really know kind of like a pimp. Come be intimate with my friend I'm not intimate with. And that's what I'm saying, you guys. Like, Stop placing your trust in what man is saying or doing. Place your trust in someone. Tonight, for the rest of your life as a Christian, when movements and waves come and go, you're going to be on the upside and you're going to be on the downside. And if he's not enough on the downside, you're going to bail on him to find your heaven. You're going to find your heaven somewhere. You're going to find your eternal life somewhere. I'm just telling you, eternal life is not a destination I'm going to. Eternal life is actually knowing someone really well. It's just not about the gifting. It's not about going after gifting. It's not about camping out in gifting. It's not about camping out in miracles. It's not about getting your prayers answered. It's about meeting the person that answers the prayer. 